On this video, we're going to be demonstrating and reviewing the heated beard brush from Beard Octane. There you see it. It's got the red uh, ceramic heating elements on it. We're going to go ahead and turn it on. So we've got 320, 360, 400, and then if you cycle back around, you got 430, 250, and 280. I usually use it either on the 320, which it normally comes on, or if I'm in a hurry, I'll put it on 360. So you just uh, stop on whatever heat setting you want, and then you'll see it heats up very fast. So it will only take a second here to do that, and then I'll try to show uh, how to use that. So I have put in some beard oil. I used a little bit of uh, Victory, which is a new cologne scent that they've recently released, which I love. So you want to uh, let that soak in for about five minutes or so. You want your beard to be pretty much dry it can be just a little bit damp but whenever you use a, a heated brush you're, you may see it like steam because of the the moisture in your beard don't let that uh, scare you it is not smoke you are not uh, uh, scorching your beard uh, especially if you keep it at the lower settings um, so one thing i like about this is really compact um, i would tell you that i'm going to go uh, just say something a little bit different than what they advertise for on the website uh, they say that um, it's uh, um, designed for uh, guys who have beards that are at least two inches. I think even if your beard's quite a bit shorter than that, you can get some benefit from this. I'm going to show you that uh, as I demonstrate it here in a minute. Um, and what I'm going to do is go ahead and pick my beard out. Uh, I've got a, a shorter beard. It's not super short. Uh, and by the way, this is what my beard looks like, just oil only. I've seen some guys do videos of um, heated beard brushes and stuff and it, their before picture was way jacked up you could tell they uh they did it on purpose Th that's not what i do here so you saw the before that was just oil only i got some dips and waves and and those kind of things in it i put the beard oil in letting it settle i like puffing it out that way it's going to get as many uh of those hairs actually in the heating elements as i can by the way it's already heated up now to 320. So I do this three different sections. I do the, the you know, one side, the other side, and, and, and then the middle. But watch what I do when I finish that up. So I'm just going slow. I'm putting the, the uh, heating elements right against my uh, face. It does not burn them. It does feel warm, but does not burn them. Uh, if you want, you can um, go against the grain here and I go out to the side, use your face as a palette. If you've got a super long beard, you can put your hand behind it to give yourself some uh, tension. But as soon as I stop doing that, here's where you can get away with a shorter beard and actually get some benefit. Go right after with a boar's hair brush, and that way you're going to get some tension on it. So the idea is to get some heat in your beard and then put some tension on it, and that's going to uh, help those hairs uh, kind of get, get straightened out. And then you can use your hand as a cold shot, or I've, I've heard some guys actually have something cold out of the freezer uh, to, to put on their beard to kind of lock everything in and you can see that pretty dramatic difference there all right so that's one section by the way this goes for uh 69.99 i am an affiliate with beard octane so you can use the code banjo 10 to save yourself 10 percent i always appreciate when you guys do that they got a lot of cool scents they just came out with one for fall i think it's just about sold out it's probably already sold out last i heard there were only 10 bottles of fallback oil left so there is uh my right side and then i'm using the boar's hair brush that's kind of the trick and then coming back with your hand for a cold shot and that pretty much uh, gets rid of the, as many flyaways as I can uh, without doing any kind of trimming. So you'll see a pretty major difference. Uh, I don't have lots of uh, big dips and waves and those kind of things because uh, of the way my beard grows, but also how I've trained it over the years. I'll do some more videos for that uh, coming up in the future on how to comb your beard so that you're not actually creating more problems than you're solving. So make sure you're uh, subscribed here to the channel. Click that notifications button. Uh, if you've got a big mustache, this is uh, compact enough that it will work on your mustache. I don't have a separate mustache right now, but I'm getting the heat in it. And then I am using the uh, boar's hair brush to get some tension and then using my hands as a cold shot. And there we go. Now, I usually like finishing off uh, with butter because uh, that's uh, using the, um, the heated brush is going to uh, take away a little bit of the oil that you put in. It's going to have it like uh, evaporate out. So I'm going to use a little bit of butter here. Uh, one of my other favorite scents, which is Grizzly Puncher. That and Victory, those are my top two. 
I uh, also like the cold start if I'm looking for something like that. And for my size beer, I'm not putting a lot of butter in after I use the heated brush. So maybe a fingertips worth, maybe a fingernails worth, something like that. Not a lot, just enough to make sure I've got everything uh, nice and moisturized. Uh, it's going to stay nice and soft all day long. Um, so you can put it on the top. I don't have any issues just in it. Sometimes it looks like I'm undoing what I just did, but uh, I actually put it all the way through my beard. Uh, I don't put it down to my skin necessarily. Uh, then I just comb it back down in place. Use the boar hair brush. And we're done. So only takes a couple of minutes. Like it only, I think it only takes like two minutes for this to heat up. Uh, and then you make your couple passes. You don't need to spend a long time on it because if you do, you may have that super straight look, which may not be the best. I tend to think of a, a beard have some natural waves and texture to it. It kind of depends on uh, on the beard though. But anyway, so check that out. Once again, $69.99. You can use the code Banjo10 to save at Beard Octane. Let me know, have you tried a heated beard brush before? Have you had good results? And as always, I appreciate you watching. We'll see you soon.